What's up guys? Are you looking for more protection on the side of your Can-Am Defender? Well, Super ATV has you covered with our heavy duty Nerf bars with a step for the Can-Am Defender. And today we're gonna show you how to get them installed. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you have an aftermarket skid plate installed to your machine, you're gonna to wanna to remove the one side. So as you can see here, we went ahead and removed one of the side panels of the skid plate. Um, with our skid plate, obviously you can remove you know, different portions of it, the OEM one you can't. Um, you know, If you do have an OEM one, you'll have to drill out some rivets, drop it down enough to where you can get your hands in here for demonstration purposes. Obviously we like to remove it all so we can show you. Then back here in the rear, as you can see, we kind of got it to where we can pull it down to show where you're gonna get some hardware in back here. You probably already realized we are working on a Can-Am Defender XMR edition. If you have an XMR, you wanna go ahead and remove your factory slider here. Just got a T30 here, as well as a T30 here with a 13 millimeter nut, and then you have some rivets along the bottom if you still have your factory skid plate installed. So we'll just go ahead and remove our hardware. Go ahead and remove that, then remove your slider. If you have a non-XMR machine, you're gonna have this factory lower deflector here. You'll have to remove this in order to cut this lower portion here to fit the Nerf bar in. So as you can see, this machine's already equipped with our Super ATV heavy duty Nerf bars. So what you'll have to do is remove all your hardware here and then drill out two rivets down on the bottom. On the lower portion of the deflector, you will have to cut a notch out large enough to fit the bracket for the Nerf bar. So on the passenger side, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you remove your T20 from here, here, as well as here. And then we'll drill our rivets out, which will be right here, as well as here. You will have to cut a notch out large enough to fit the bracket for the Nerf bar. So once you have your lower deflector cut, you wanna make sure that you use the self tappers in place of the rivets that you drilled out to get it reinstalled. On the XMR model, you will have to remove this lower bracket that was for the rock slider. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to remove some plastic. So we went ahead and removed our fender flares, which these fender flares can be picked up at superatv.com. There will be a link in the description for these flares. So what we're gonna do is remove the following hardware down through here, this piece of hardware here, as well as this screw that'll be here until we can get this panel pulled out enough to remove the hardware that secures this bracket to the frame. Grab a hold and remove the side panel. Once you've done that, you're gonna notice that you have three rivets securing your lower bracket for your factory sliders on. So we'll wanna drill those rivets out now. So there we go, we went ahead and drilled out all three of our rivets. So now that gives us plenty of room to get in here and put our hardware in. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our side panel here. Just make sure that you get it lipped right back in here how it was. So the next thing we're gonna do is come back here to this lower panel on the rear of the machine, and you're gonna see there's a factory indention. What we did is we went ahead and took a paint marker and kind of you know painted the indention a little bit so it's easier to show on camera. We're gonna get a two inch hole saw. Whenever you're using the hole saw, you wanna make sure that your drill bit is lined up in the center of that factory indention. There's a hole right there for our bolt to go through. If your machine's equipped, with the factory guard right here, our panel, you'll just wanna go through and remove all the push pins for this. That's just gonna give us a little bit more room whenever we're putting our rear hardware in. So once we remove this panel, we'll be able to access this hole right here, which is gonna line up with the hole in the plastic that we just drilled. So here's all the hardware we're gonna need. You're gonna have two short bolts, two nylocks, one M8 by 60 and one M8 by 70. So the M60 will be used in the rear, and this is how it'll need to be oriented. You'll have a big flat washer and then a lock washer. 
This right here, the 70, will be utilized in the front. So it's gonna go through the frame like this, and then you'll have a washer on the back side, and then a nut on the back side as well. So now we're gonna take our Nerf bar and get it installed to the machine. So I'm gonna make sure that we line this hole up here in the front. We're just gonna get this hardware started. Then we're gonna move to the rear. So to get the Nerf bar laid up in the position it's in right here, you do kinda of gotta pull on this plastic a little bit and kinda of work it around in order to get it to line up good. So we're gonna get one of our short M8s here. So once we get one of our bolts slid through, I'm just gonna reach down onto the bottom side, get the hardware started. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our center bolt. Just wanna make sure that the washer's up against the frame and then the lock washer's up against the bolt. Once you've got that installed, go ahead and fully tighten all the hardware and then repeat all these same steps for the opposite side. Reinstall any components that you removed and that's all there is to it to install Super ATVs, heavy duty Nerf bars on this Can-Am Defender. To pick yours up today, be sure to check the description below for a link to our website. Make sure also while you're there, drop a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.